Welcome guys, uh, thank you for being working here at CFI. Uh, my name is Jeff Thurlow, as you guys hopefully know by now. We're gonna talk to you guys a little bit today about uh, hazmat, what we do with the placards and making sure we're getting those on there right and what we do at the shippers before we leave and making sure everything's good to go when, once we get going. So, um, as you can see, we got the placards here. We wanna make sure that if, if we have the placard holders, we wanna make sure we're using them. Um, even though even though they have them, we want to make sure if we have tape, clear packaging tape, we want to make sure it's clear packaging tape. We don't want to use any, any duct tape or anything that could conceal the placard. We'd still want to run that around the edges because the wind, the way it comes around the trailers, it can suck these out. So we want to make sure that the, the placard's held in there well. If we don't have the placard holders itself and we have to put it on just the side of the trailer, we're gonna peel the backs off. Hopefully if it's a sticky back placard, we wanna peel the back off and stick it on the trailer itself. But before we do that, we wanna wipe the trailer down with some type of solvent, whether it's Windex or rubbing alcohol or something of that nature that would clean the trailer off and that way we can get that placard stuck on there in, a, in such a way that it won't come off. Uh, again, you wanna run, run the clear packaging tape around the edges. And then I always did it across as well, just to make sure you got it on there and it's not going anywhere. Um, you always wanna make sure that you're, you're getting your extra placards from the shippers. Uh, it is their responsibility to provide that for us. Uh, so make sure you get those before we leave. So guys, if, if we're carrying more than one placard, this unfortunately this one's only carrying one for this demonstration, but if we had to add another placard, we, they can be next to each other, they can't be overlapping. And what they can't do is they can't be next to any other letterings, markings, or mechanical devices such as the door handles. So you wanna make sure they're in a good area, that they're not around anything else. We wanna make sure that we're sticking up to DOT standards. One thing I'd like to mention about this is if a lot of times we may run into issues where we're running in, in rain or inclement weather such as snow and ice and it may be cold. We may have issues with the placards actually sticking onto the sides of the trailer. Our road service department can get us into a shop to either A, warm the trailer up so we have uh, a better chance of getting the, the placards to stick on or if it's raining, we can get the trailer dried off in a shop and we can get the placard stuck on that way as well. And while we're at the back of the trailer and we're talking about the hazmat placards, we will talk about the security. Uh, we wanna make sure that we're getting our padlocks on, whether it is a loaded or empty trailer. My, my motto was is that we always wanna keep the, the good stuff in and the bad stuff out. And the last thing I would like to add, anytime we have any questions about hazmat placards, anything to do with that type of, of issue, we wanna call 5700 and get a hold of our safety and hazmat department.